GST that is goods and services tax is the biggest indirect tax reform in India since its independence. Our Honorable Prime Minister has given its new name that is good and simple tax and really it will be uh, going to a very simple and good tax in near future. Indirect tax that is GST collection is approximately 15 lakh crore as uh, just, uh, just more than double the direct tax uh, collection of rupees 7 lakh crores. So from this we can make out how vital it is for our economy. GST is really very very vital for our economy. Earlier a businessman has to deal with minimum 17 indirect tax levies, cesses and now he has to deal only with, uh, only with one tax that is GST. So all 17 uh, levies have been subsumed by GST and become part of one basket that is GST. GST has created a lot of you know curiosity among people of India because in direct taxes, direct taxes are paid by only few affluent people that is income tax basically but in direct tax GST, GST will be paid by everyone, everyone of the society. Even poorest of poor people will pay that GST. So we are all contributor to the city of the country. That is why GST is so important. Why there was need for constitutional amendment act? Because earlier constitution allowed only two types of taxes. Central government was allowed to tax manufacturing, import, service tax and CST. CST was obtained by state governments. And state governments were allowed to tax VAT on intrastate sales, state levies, entry tax, off royal luxury, etc. So central government was not allowed to levy tax on purchases, state purchases. And state governments were not allowed to tax manufacturing and services. So that's why this CC, CAA was, so now after uh, constitutional amendment act, states and central, they got dual powers. They can tax simultaneously purchases, uh, sorry, manufacturing services and uh, sales. This is a uh, little journey of CA. CA be passed by Rajya Sabha on 3rd August 2016 and Lok Sabha on 8th August 2016. Notified as Constitution 101 First Amendment Act, 8th September 2016. GST on petroleum, food, high speed, diesel, motor spirit, natural gas and aviation turbine fuels to be leveled later on. It's been kept out of the preview of GST. Corrupt jurisdiction of levy and levy GST, center and states, Article 246A. These powers are given under Article 246A. Center to levy and collect IGST on supplies in the course of interstate trade or commerce including imports. IGST is basically GST on interstate trade and CGST, SGST is basically on intrastate trade. Intrastate trade means when goods are supplied within a state and interstate means when goods are supplied from one state to another state. And another act is Compensation Act. Compensation Act means all the, they have agree, there is an agreement between uh, central and states if there is any revenue loss to states for the next five years that will be compensated by central government and for that they, they have made one compensation act so they can uh, levy cess on certain items, certain luxury and seen items just like the, uh, they have uh, levied cess on uh, luxury cars, some other luxury items. GST council is apex body for GST governance in India. GST council will take all the decisions regarding any change in uh, GST law. Rates, new provisions, uh, anything related to GST will be governed by GST council and uh, GST council's constitution will be central states. President will, the chairman uh, will be our honorable finance minister and all state finance ministers uh, will be members of the GST. Central will have one third of total votes. 
and states will have two third of total votes cast, and decision will be taken by three fourth of majority. So why there will be uniformity of uh, uniformity of tax in India? Because no state can change any tax on any good without three fourth majority. Only GST council has the power. Because this may happen in future, some state may say, "Can no, we'll change rate on this item?" But they cannot enhance that rate. That's why there will be uniformity in taxation across India. Because that matter has to be taken up by GST council, and there has to be three fourth majority. Only then that uh, item's rate will be changed. And if any uh, item's rate is changed, that change will be made at central level and state level both. So that rates are remain unchanged, uh, same across the region. Uh, at present, states have their own sales tax departments, where departments. So they were all uh, uh, they they were concerned what they will do after GST. GST if all assessments are made by center, they will be worthless. Then it was decided that 90 percent of tax payers heavy heavy turnover below 1.5 crore would best with. So tax departments. Now, SSC has to face both the governments, center and state, both the departments. Central, our uh, so-called central excise department, service tax department, and state sales tax and bad department. People having uh, businessmen having turnover up to one five crore would rush to state, and rest of ten percent having below would rush to central tax authorities. And Out of uh, other uh, assessments, uh, there will be equal distribution between central and state. Same arrangements will uh, be applicable for IGST and with few exceptions. GST law is not a single act; it's not governed by a single act. It is governed by these four or five acts: G CGST, UTGST, IGST, SGST, GST compensation. We will discuss later on. So GS, uh, GST Council has done uh, taken all decisions regarding this formula for calculating compensation, finalized tax rates. Uh, basically, there are four uh, brackets of tax: five percent, twelve percent, eighteen percent, twenty-eight percent. Some goods and services would, would be exempt. Separate tax rate for precious metals, like three uh, percent on jewelry, point two five percent precious stones. Sets over the peak rate of 20% on specified luxury and silk goods. So all these decisions have been taken already been taken by GST Council. Rules have been finalized on registration, payment, return, refund, invoice, composition levy, input tax credit, traditional provision, valuation, etc. Now the this is this was the first while in that. Tax structure in India. These are central levies, and these are state levies. In central levy, there was custom duty. Out of custom duty, basic custom duty would still remain there. Only countervailing duty (CVD) and special custom duty, special uh, assessment duty, excise duty, central sales tax, service tax. They will be subsumed by GST. Entry tax, octroi, entertainment, electricity duty, luxury tax, where these are all state levies. All will be subsumed by GST except electricity duty. And uh, CST will still remain there because alcoholic liquor for human consumption and petroleum products and tobacco. Tobacco is in GST, but it will remain in uh, state law also. So, the uh, CST and VAT would continue to govern uh, these uh, petroleum products, and uh, petroleum products and uh, uh, alcohol for human consumption. So, GST, uh, CST, and VAT law will still remain there for these products. What are the benefits of uh, GST? Why GST has been implemented? To trade, these are the benefits to trade. Reduction in multiplicity of taxes. What is the uh, multiplicity of taxes? On a 
one transaction, they are levied lot, uh, lots of taxes, just like excise, service tax, state tax, lots of services. So in GST, there will be only single tax that will be divided in three uh, components. Mitigation of cascading and double taxation. What is cascading? Cascading is when taxes are levied on taxes. Just we, uh, if we go to buy a TV, that TV shop owner has paid excise duty on TV. And when he sells TV to us, he charges VAT. So we pay excise duty also on VAT also because he doesn't get benefit of excise duty. No input credit is allowed of excise duty. So that's why it's a cascading of taxes becomes. In other transactions also this happens. There is a lot of cascading. And what is double taxation? Double taxation is when two taxes are imposed simultaneously. This happens. When we go to some restaurant, if you see the bill, there will be 100% VAT levied on our bill. And we will pay service tax also on that, uh, around 40% of value will be levied by on, uh, will be levied with service tax. So that is double taxation. In other transactions also there is lot of double taxation. So GST will remove double taxation, cascading of taxes and multiplicity of taxes. Multiplicity is central levies also, uh, many levies are in the state, every state has different VAT law, different rates for different products. Suppose a business is being run in many states. So, a businessman has to deal 29 states plus two uh, unit territories with state legislature. They have different laws, different rates of taxes and it becomes so complex to uh, deal with different uh, taxes. It's not that easy. It will have uh, development of common national market simpler tax regime, fewer rates and exemptions, because rates will be only four, uh, five, six categories. Distinction between goods and services is no longer required. Because sometimes, state government levies a tax on some item. And central state service tax department, they also say that we will also levy tax. This happens in many industries. Just take case of automobile industry. They charge holding charges and uh, these type of charges they take from you when you buy a vehicle. Even sales tax department also says that we will charge sales tax on that amount also. So that becomes, uh, th that will be removed by GST because there will be one department and they will levy only one tax. No forms are required. Now they are in C form, F form, lots of forms are required for different type of transactions in different uh, VAT laws of different states. So there will be no form. All forms will be removed. Only EVA will, uh, EVA, uh, bill will be there. EVA bill will be only electronic thing. When a supplier is supplying uh, goods worth more than 50,000, he will generate online EVA bill. So beyond that, I think there will not be any form. What are the benefits to consumers? Simple tax system. Reduction in prices of goods and services due to elimination of a cascading. Cascading will not be there, so prices will reduce. You have seen prices already being reduced. Just take uh, case of vehicles. Even in some uh, models, there is reduction of around 5 to 10 lakhs. This happened only because of GST and the reduction happened just because of removal of cascading. Uniform prices throughout the country. Now we uh, go to uh, different states, we find different rates for different products. This will not be the case in VAT, sorry, GST. Every commodity will have same price throughout the country. There will be transparency in taxation system. Now there is no transparency. Because lots of people are doing business without following the system of where or central excise. But in GST, it will be very difficult 
not to come in the earlier GST. That we will discuss later on. Increasing employment opportunity because business will increase, economy will increase, there will be 2% incremental growth as predicted by our uh, prime minister and finance minister in GDP. So there will be lots of employment opportunities also. GST framework. This will be the GST framework. In GST framework, there will be five different taxes. There will not be a single GST tax. GST law is just for the sake of saying, we just say that this is single uh, law, single law. It is not single law. These five different acts have been enacted in India. These five different acts have been enacted to implement GST law. CGST. CGST is Central Goods and Services Tax. This one act has been passed by Parliament. Central Government has passed this act. Another is State Goods and Services Tax. These have acts are for state governments. 29 states and two uh, union territories with state legislature. They have passed as GST. Because they will levy as GST and every state has to pass their act. This is just a replica of SCGST. IGST. IGST again has been passed by central government to tax interstate transactions. UGST. Because we have union territories, seven union territories who are with state legislature, only five are left. So five union, this UG CH, uh, UGST Act is passed by central government for uh, uh, governing of uh, taxation in union territories. Then again compensation says, just to compensate states if there is any revenue loss to them in the next five years. This is one act. So this will be the GST framework. All central levies, central excise duty, Excise duty on additional penalties uh, preparation, additional duty of excise on textile, textile products, central sale tax, service tax, CVD and SAD on import of goods, sessions and surcharges insofar as they are related to supply of goods or service. These are imposed by the uh, central government. They are various sessions. So all these will become part of CGST. They will become CGST to be governed by central government. State levies, state VAT, entertainment, purchase tax, tax on lottery, betting, entry tax, luxury tax, taxes on advertisement, state services and such as they will become SGST. So mainly there will be two components, CGST and SGST. Third will be IGST. Fourth is UPGST, that is just SGST. And compensation, that is just to compensate the states. How GST will work in India? Interstate supply, state A, intrastate, within state. So there will be level two taxes simultaneously, CGST plus SGST. So CGST will go to central government, SGST will go to the respective state where the supply is being made, from, where the, from which, which state the supply is made. Interstate supply, state A, and state B. This is between, uh, between two different states. This is between two different states or one state or one union territory or two union territories. So that tax will be called IGST and IGST will be levied by central government. IGST is some total of CGST and SGST. Suppose one item is taxed at 12% of rate. So, in intrastate, CGST will be levied at the rate of 6% and the SGST will be levied at the rate of 6%. And if it is interstate, then it will be levied at the rate of 12%. It will become IGST. And that is the maximum rate, IGST. Export, no taxes. Imports. BCD and IGST. So somebody is importing, he has to pay BCD and IGST. IGST, in fact, imports and exports will be considered interstate rate. So IGST will be levied. Even in, in the case of services also, IGST will be levied between different 
uh, uh, countries. How dual GST within state will work? Just take this example. Timber maker is supplying furniture to furniture maker. So he will suppose 100 rupees is the value of goods. He will charge. We have taken this uh, rate of 10 percent. SGS SP is the rate of 10 percent. SCGST is the rate of 10 percent. So total value will become 120. Out of this. Rupees ten will go to state and CGST will go to center. Now, after making the furniture, tax invoice is issued. Is the most appropriate. Suppose that is price at two hundred rupees. SGST at the rate of again because it is within the state only. Ten percent twenty and CGST twenty. Value becomes two forty. But tax. Since he has already paid rupees ten CGST, CGST will be paid only rupees ten because here CGST is twenty rupees already charged CGST ten rupees. This is called input tax credit. So there is a you know a flow of credit. This is the main benefit of GST. He has to pay only ten rupees because he has already paid ten rupees and tax is not due. Again, that is being sold to final consumer by tax invoice C. Suppose it's been sold on three hundred rupees. SGST will be thirty rupees. CGST will be thirty rupees. Here also, he has to pay only rupees ten. CGST and SGST also. SGST ten, SGST ten, uh, and CGST ten. Because thirty rupees is the total tax liability. Rupees twenty already been paid in the last bill, so he will get credit of rupees. Twenty. So how uh, this is the how dual GST model within state will work, and out of these taxes, CGST will go to central government and SGST will go to state government. And one more thing, GST is consumption based tax. Earlier our taxes were origin based. Suppose uh, one factory is in Maharashtra. So taxes used to go to Maharashtra government. Now this has changed completely in GST. In GST, the consumption state will get the taxes, and central government will ensure this. Within state, the uh, revenue will be uh, with that state only. So IGST model, how IGST model will work? Same example of furniture. In tax invoice A. is a within state so same as gst and cgst but in tax invoice b the goods will change uh, cross the border when goods are changing uh, crossing the border no sgst cgst will be levied igst will be levied igst will be levied 40 rupees and while paying igst he will get benefit of cgst and sgst pay Forty rupees is the tax charge, but liability will be only rupees twenty because already rupees twenty of taxes has been paid. And we in this case also IGST also government will ensure whatever IGST they are getting, fifty percent of that will go to the consumption state. That will not remain with the central government. Suppose goods from Delhi are travelling to Haryana. Goods are manufactured, manufactured and sold from Delhi, but consumed in Haryana. So Haryana will get fifty percent share of IGST. When we file the returns, we'll quote GST number of uh, consumption state buyer from consumption state. So automatically, government as a system through GST and calculating that they will ensure the half uh, share of IGST goes to the state government. In C invoice again, that is within the state. Same taxes are charged at 10 percent rate for SGST, CGST. While paying CGST, he will get credit of CGST, IPC, and IGST. So CGST is to zero, 
because there was no CGST in this in middle B1 transaction. Only credit of IGST will be given. In this lower example, tax becomes zero. And SGST first he will utilize uh, IGST, sorry, uh, CGST, IGST, and then uh, in SGST also IGST will be utilized. Balance SGST of 20 rupees will be paid. But there is no cross utilization of CGST and SGST is allowed. While paying CGST and SGST, credit of IGST is allowed. While paying IGST, credit of uh, CGST, SGST is allowed. But when we are paying CGST, we can take credit of CGST and IGST. We cannot create, uh, take credit of SGST. And while paying SGST, similar, we can take credit of SGST and IGST. We cannot take credit of S uh, CGST. Cross utilization of credit of SGST and CGST is not allowed. Thank you.